Hey everyone, Christy with Crafted, Crafted by Christy. Welcome back. I had a request to show you how I dry my coffee filters. Um, if you saw my previous video, um, the color that I get from this is very, very rich, dark brown. And I don't use any coloring, food coloring or anything to collage it other than glue and water. So well, I use these pans that I get from the Dollar Tree and I don't think they came together. I think the one with the holes was separate than this one. But I use them this way because as you can see the coffee falls down into the bottom when I put it on the top. So I have one here. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do my one I just used. And to as you can tell it's it's pretty full i um i make a whole pot of coffee and i don't know if that's why it um gives it darker because there's a lot of coffee in here um i make my, my coffee pot is a 12 cup so i use roughly five to six tablespoons of coffee each time and when it's done i don't dump my grounds right away I usually let them sit until the next day in the filter and so I'm just gonna dump this real quick in the trash and I don't clean it off real good I just dump it and as you can tell there are a lot of grounds still on it so I just lay this wet because it's still pretty wet even after a day I just lay it upside down <clears throat> excuse me on this pan and let it dry so tomorrow morning when I check it it will be dry and this is what I do to it once it is dry this one has been drying and as you can see it still has um, grounds on it so I just lay it on this and move it back and forth usually and see it knocks off most of the grounds. I just shake them into the bottom. And it gets most of them. And then what's left is I just take one of these hand brooms and wipe it off. And you don't have to be gentle with it because again, these Sorry about the shaking. These coffee filters are sturdy. So I just shake it or brush it off. And that's what I'm left with. It looks pretty dark before I ever do anything with it. And that is all I do. And then I just collage into paper. And actually, I'm getting ready to... I have some more filters here that I need to brush off. I'm getting ready to make some more music paper. And this time I'm gonna try, I'm gonna use music paper that's not older. It's new, so it's very white paper um, to see if the music will show through a little bit better. Cause it seemed like when I used the vintage paper and I don't know, you know, that might be what you're going for, but when I use the vintage paper, it's almost so dark that you can't see the lyrics. So I thought I would try a lighter paper this time and see how it turns out. If you want to stay with me, I'm going to I'm going to do that real quick. And as you can sometimes when I pull them out of the pot, I would rip, rip them. So that's when I stopped trying to pull them out. I just dumped the whole thing and lifted this paper out. That way it would stay all in one piece. As you can tell, I haven't done this in a week or so. So I've got five of them here. But if you want to stay with me, I'm going to collage some more paper because I've used everything. And we'll see how that turns out on the white, white background. Okay, as you can tell, I already have it collaged, and that's because I thought my camera was on and it wasn't. But a couple things I want to tell you is um, 
I don't know if you noticed or not that one of the filters had this yellowy orange color. That's because the pans that I use to get the grounds off, I also use it to do my um, oh splatter painting for the oxide paints, the spray paints. And so sometimes it picks that up from the wet coffee filter and I just keep using them because I like that color. And when you collage it and it gets wet, it, it really brings it out and it looks real pretty. But, um, so this is the kind of paper that I used. It's, it's really not, it may not even be as thick as, um, just regular copy paper. It might be copy paper, copy paper. But so I just glued two of them together like this. And I did run the glue mixture over it real lightly. Laid down my filters. And this time I tore them because, you know, it's hard to get a square shape out of a round circle. So I tore them more where they didn't overlap as much and maybe wouldn't be quite so dark. Plus that way I'm not you know, wasting all that's on the edges. Um, so I tore them to, and I ended up only using three, where usually I would use four. And um, we'll see if that gives it enough color. But I I can tell by looking at it right now that it's, it's going to give it a real good, rich color. I don't know if you can see it very well. And I wanted to flip it over to show you that some of this dark is seeping through the back, which I'm glad about. That way it'll give it, it didn't everywhere, but it did in some spots, um, give it that nice color. Even if it doesn't, I'm planning on making things like um, the sewn envelopes or um, tags. If I use the tags, I can always you know ink it up on the back if it doesn't turn out dark enough but I think it's going to look real pretty I'm going to let this dry overnight and in the morning I will set it under something just to flatten it back out and then we'll take a look at it when it's done and see how good it turned out with just using the lighter color music paper um, again you know if you're going for the darker color which I like. This is going to be really dark. I think it's going to be plenty dark. My only thing is that this paper is, this music paper is just not very thick. But I think with the coffee filters and the glue mixture, it's going to thicken up and, and work out real good for us. We'll see in the morning. And also, I just wanted to tell you again that my glue mixture, it does not have any coloring in it. It's just... Elmer's glue and water and I mixed it um, three parts about three parts glue one part water um, you know just depending you, you want it to be drippy like this um, so what whatever however you can get it to there you're not going to mess it up I mean worst case you'll add a little bit more glue or a little bit more water just get the consistency that you like where it goes on real smooth. Um, I mean, it is paper. It's going to soak it up and dry. But um, I do use the same mixture for my coffee as I use for my other stuff because I don't care if it bleeds on it. And I collage so much stuff that it's not going to go bad. I'll use this up before... You know, I think I saw someone ask a question if it would like mold or go bad, but I, I haven't had that problem. But again, I use, it takes a lot of it and I use a lot of it. So it doesn't really have that opportunity to go bad, but as you can, I don't think you can see it, but on my brush, I mean, it's kind of got the brown tint to it. My glue doesn't yet, but I imagine the more of these that I do, it probably will course it'll probably be gone before I do too many of them but anyway we're gonna let this dry overnight and check it out in the morning and see what kind of color we got from this see you in a bit hey I these have dried this is the one that 
was on the very thin paper and it's very you know durable now and I'm thinking with this one I'm probably going to make I talked about making tags and oh sorry that was Fred tags and things with it but I think because it's such a large piece and I really hate I don't want to say the word waste but to make some a bunch of small things I want to make a bigger item with it and my Happy Mail partner likes music. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a sewn envelope, something like this. This one, of course, is fabric, but I'm going to make, you know, make it out of this and I will sew it and it will, it will go in the sewing machine just fine. So I think I'm going to make part of it, one of those. And then I don't know what I'll do with the rest, but you can see that some of it did bleed through, so it has a nice real, it has a pretty color on this side. But if you were going to make something where this side were to show, you could just ink it some or stencil it. Like I stenciled these music sheets. Of course, I didn't collage them, but I stenciled these. But you could stencil, and that would look so pretty on this. Um, and then with the other piece, and I'll probably use the scraps left over from that, maybe for tags. And I like to use them on these flowers, these little scrappy flowers. I'll punch out pieces and put it in the middle because it gives them, gives them some firmness and sturdiness, I should say, where they, you know, because this is just magazine pages here. So it's not real, real sturdy, but this is. And I usually, I like to put it in the middle with a brad or something and it, it keeps it flat where it doesn't add a lot of bulk to your project. Or you could actually put a button or something larger on the outside if you wanted to put it on your front cover. The only bad thing is these, like I said, this is pretty thin, um, but might be a way to, to use that, um, so for this other piece, I went ahead and collaged an, another one. And here is where that paint was at. See how pretty that looks? I don't know if you can see it very good, but it's it's real vibrant. It probably looks better in person than on camera. But I collaged it to some wallpaper. And the wallpaper has texture, but and I was really hoping it would come through better. I don't know if you can see that. It but it didn't come through that well. You can see it in spots, but not as good as I was hoping. Of course, these coffee filters are pretty thick, so they don't let what's underneath come through very good. Mainly all you're getting is this dark, rich color. But I thought the way I might use this one, because it's, you know, wallpaper, so it's a lot sturdier, heavier than this piece. My dog keeps hitting the camera. I'm so sorry is that I would cut a piece, you know, just a sliver of it and use it as like a binder on a book for these pages that I stenciled. Like this would probably be my front and this would be the back. And then I would use this as the binding for the two and then probably put some muslin or something to strengthen it even more. But if you're interested in seeing that process, if that's what I end up doing with these pages, let me know and I will make a tutorial on it. Um, but there's just, seriously, there are so many things. This just gives everything such a wonderful, beautiful, rich color to your, it adds to your books. Um, no matter what you're doing with it. I mean, I am at a lack of creativity right now so I'm having a hard time thinking what I would do with it um, <clears throat> but I know you know I, I'm gonna make the envelopes I'm I'm gonna probably more than likely make it a um, binding for one of my books I actually thought about making a journal out of it I have made a journal and the signatures I each it has two signatures in it and um, each one 
it has a piece of this, you know, wrapped in it. And it looks really pretty. I'll show that whenever I get ready to put it on my Etsy shop. But by tearing these coffee filters like I did, I mean, I'm, I'm losing just tiny bits of it instead of, you know, wide strips like this, which I'll use this. This is actually was on the paper, but normally you have pieces like this that you really can't do much with unless you want to collage to something else that you have to cut off on the outside if you leave them in a whole circles, circles versus tearing them. But on the other hand, I'm not sure if I like them being torn as much as I did, you know, where they were just barely overlapping. I really liked, liked how that looked as well. Um, I mean, I, I'm not complaining. I think it looks beautiful and I love the color that it gives. The only thing is that around the edge, around the top, it's very dark. And of course where the coffee sits, it's very dark and kind of that little lip around that doesn't have any coffee sitting on it is a little bit lighter but I think the variation of the color you know the light dark just makes it look really pretty I think there's a lot of things that you can do with this I really hope that you all will give me some more ideas and show me things that you do with it if you are to try this or are already doing it or made things with it and I'm really sorry I wish Fred would lay down Fred is my dog and um, he has to be right by me no matter what I'm doing um, but show me what you've done with your coffee filters I, I know that when I was looking for ideas on YouTube I couldn't find a lot of things, projects that were done, that piece came loose, I must have missed it, that were done with used coffee filters. I saw a lot of projects with new coffee filters, um, but I, I really like to use the ones that have already been used, mainly because, I don't know, I think it adds to the junk. <laughs> in junk journal more um i love the color of it better than just a clean coffee filter um but show me what you do with yours if you have ideas of what to do or projects you've like i said projects you've already done and i would love love to see them if you have any comments for me or questions um please Put them in the comments below the video. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I would love it. And if you have anything that you would be interested in seeing, any tutorials or just projects that you would like to see, let me know. I would love to show you. Love to work on it. Um, thanks for your time. Thanks for joining me. And I hope I answered all the questions on my drying process of the coffee filters and I hope this is something that you will use and enjoy and again like I said show me what you make thanks again see you in the next one sorry I couldn't leave till I showed you what I did with part of it um, this I went ahead and made the envelope with the sewing and I sewed it from the wrong side so that I could have that rustic look um i only used half of it so i'll probably do the same with the other half but see how it bled through a little bit well it did that a little bit on this but i i didn't like how much white was left so i inked it i'm sorry i stenciled it with this coffee stencil and made it and i even did some stenciling on the dark I don't know if you can see it very good, but it brought out even more. It even looks even more coffee dyed. I done it right there and there. I only done it in some of the lighter spots where it would 
match in with the rest of the this is all from the actual filter but these little pieces here that are in the light spot I put those on with the coffee stencil and I got this coffee stencil from scrapbook I see scrapbooking with me store I'm not sure um, I'll try to put it in the comments if you're interested in this stencil I love it um, but I just wanted to show you what I did with a piece of it and I'm thinking I'm gonna have to I'm gonna send this one to my happy mail partner I'm thinking I'm gonna have to add a, a fabric cluster onto it if you want to give me your vote it's between this one it has a doily on it and then I like these orangey colored ones because they seem to bring out the coffee a little bit see which one you like the best maybe without the string this one has a little bit of yarn and lace this one actually has this funny I don't know what this stuff is it looks like cobweb but it's kind of a lace trim a little bit of gold and then this one and it has the little a gold mesh and some some of that funny trim and coffee colors I call them but I think really I'm leaning towards either this one would be number one or this one number two or the one with the yarn would be number three like I said I just couldn't wait to show you how it turned out the only thing I'm mad about is before I glued it I forgot to sew this edge Normally, I like to sew that edge before I glue it down. That way, it's completely sewn. But that's okay. I think it turned out all right anyway. I sewed as close to the edge at the bottom as I could, so there would be lots of space for me to put goodies in here. I guess if I can't make up my mind about the fabric cluster, I could always put it inside, and then if she wants to put one on it, she can do so. But there's lots of space in this little envelope. I guess I could put them all three. <laughs> anyway, I probably won't. You let me know what you think. And thanks again for watching. See you in the next one.